Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the pan and zoom feature in Movavi Video Editor. I'm creating this tutorial on request from a couple of my viewers. So here is a 3D avatar video that I created in Video Robot and then used the pan and zoom feature in Movavi Video Editor to move the 3D avatar around the screen as you can see here. Let me first briefly explain the steps involved. In step 1, I created the 3D avatar green screen video in Video Robot. In step 2, I added the green screen video and the background video in Movavi. In step 3, I used the chroma key feature in Movavi to remove the green screen. And finally, in step 4, I used the pan and zoom feature in Movavi to move the 3D avatar. Okay, so let's begin. So I've got Movavi Video Editor open here. I'll click the Add Media button and choose the 3D Avatar green screen video as well as the background video and then add them to the timeline. Next, I'll move the green screen video on another video track over top of the background video like so. Next, I'll double click on the green screen video and the timeline and you will see this drop down menu. I'll choose the cover option and click apply. This will make the green screen video full size. Next, I'll click on the more button and choose chroma key. As you can see, it automatically detected the green color. So I'll just click in this green section of the video and it will automatically remove the green screen as you can see. Now we'll use the pan and zoom feature. To do so, click on the more button once again and this time choose pan and zoom. You will see this new panel with the pan and zoom options. I'll click the pan option and I'll move the playhead to the 5 second mark like so and click add. You will notice that it has placed keyframes here in the timeline. You will also see these handles in the preview section. So I can use these handles like so to zoom into a specific area of the video and accordingly position the frame like so. So if we do a quick preview, you can see how the pan and zoom animation looks like based on the settings that we used. Similarly, I can add another pan and zoom keyframe at the 15 second mark to bring it back to the original position like so. And here is how the second pan and zoom keyframe animation looks like. You can extend these keyframes if you want to slow down the animation by dragging them. But these are the basics of how the pan and zoom feature in Movavi works. Well, hope you found this Movavi tutorial helpful. You will find many more Movavi tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them out. And thanks for watching.